Dear students, uh, today I'm going to discuss with you all about uh, the human development uh, in India from chapter number three, human development. So in our previous class, we have already discussed about the concept of human development. Okay, what do we mean by the term human development? And what does uh, the Western or Eurocentric view of development mean? Okay. So let us discuss today about the human development, okay, in Indian context. So India is the second largest country in the world in terms of population, okay, as we all know. So with the population of over 1.2 billion, India is ranked 131 among 188 countries of the world in terms of the Human Development Index 2016, okay. So what is the rank of India in terms of human development? The rank of India in terms of human development is 131, okay, as per the Human Development Index of the year 2016. Okay, and the composite value, okay, of India is 0 0.624, okay, so to measure the level of human development, okay, the score ranges between 0 to 1, okay, the score ranges between 0 to 1, okay, and if the score is very close to 1, that means the country is considered to be highly developed in terms of human development, and if the score is very close to 0, okay, the country is having a low level of development. So here in case of India, okay, India is having a composite HDI value of 0 0.624, okay. And with the composite value of 0 0.624, India has been placed in the medium level of human development, okay. So India is a country which is having a medium level of human development, okay. Low scores in the HDI is a matter of serious concern, but some reservation has been expressed about the approach as well as indicators selected to calculate the index value and ranking of the states or the countries. Okay, so different countries of the world, they are at the different level of economic development, social and cultural development. And many of the countries, they have, uh, they were ruled, okay, by different uh, like uh, superpowers actually. Okay, like in case of India, okay, India was under the colonial rule for around 200 years actually. Okay, so for these countries actually, there are some relaxations, okay, in measuring the level of human development. Okay, because, okay, uh, because the low score in the human development is a matter of serious concern actually. Okay, so in order to find out the level of human development, okay, some relaxation has been uh, given to some of these uh, underdeveloped nations were under the colonial rule, okay, or which has been, uh, like, which were, uh, like, has undergone the phase or, like, uh, witnessed various kinds of civil wars and wars, right, so, so, okay. So, lack of sensitivity to the historical factors like colonization, imperialism, and neo-imperialism, socio-cultural factors like human rights violation, social discrimination on the basis of race, religion, gender, and caste, social problems like crimes, terrorism, and war, and political factors like nature of the state, okay, the form of the government, whether the government is a democratic or a dictatorship of government goes on, and the level of empowerment are some of the factors that are very crucial in determining the nature of human development, okay. So these aspects have special significance in the case of India and many other developing countries, okay. So as I have already said, that uh, for few countries, the relaxation has been provided, okay, in determining the level of human development, okay, because these countries, some of the, the developing countries, okay, they were under the colonial rule, okay, uh, where still gender discrimination, social discrimination, human rights violation exist, okay, uh, even there are many countries, okay, like where, like, uh, like terrorism activities are more, okay, and because of this terrorism activities, okay, the country could not prosper, could not develop, okay, and even the form of the government plays a very important role, okay, uh, like in the level of development, actually. So we have to take consideration all this aspect while determining the level of human development, okay, and in the case of India also, okay, this aspect has been taken care of, okay, to determine the level of human development. So, uh, like basically what is happening like uh, the United Nations Development Program, okay, UNDP, it prepares the human development report for every countries of the world, okay, the UNDP prepares a human development report 
okay for every countries of the world and different countries of the world are being provided with different ranks okay according to the composite index according to the uh, score okay uh, they get actually okay so in case of india also within our country india we have tried to access the level of human development okay of different states and the union territories okay so the indicators which were selected by undp okay for preparing the human development report of different countries of the world the same indicators has been uh, used by the planning commission of india to prepare the human development report for india okay so uh like the undp the planning commission of india also prepares the human development report okay for our country okay and the indicators which has been used by undp for preparing the human development report the same indicators are being used by our country okay by the planning commission as well okay to prepare the human development report of our nation okay uh, to which we provide ranking okay or we measure the level of development of different states though the planning commission of india does not exist at present okay it has been renamed as uh, okay the, it has been uh, uh, the name of planning commission of india has been changed actually okay uh, it has been changed to niti ayo okay but till uh, 2016 actually okay like uh, the human development report okay like uh, was prepared by this planning commission of india okay so it used states and the union union territories as the unit of analysis so the planning commission of india okay uh, uh, has uh, used the state the different states and the union territories as the unit of analysis okay and subsequently okay even the state government okay even the state government has started preparing the human development report okay state level human development report where the districts are taken as the unit of analysis so the undp prepares the human development report for different countries of the world in our country the planning commission of india prepares the human development report for different states and the union territories okay where ranking is being provided to different states in the same way several state government they also measure the level of human development of different districts okay by using the uh, level of uh, they take the district as the unit of analysis okay and the final human development report is prepared by the planning commission of india by calculating the three indicators okay so the final human development report uh, of our country is being prepared by the planning commission of india by using the three indicators and these three indicators basically include access to resource access to health facilities and access to education okay so each of these indicators okay are uh, they have a share of 1 by 3 okay that means 0.33% okay 0 1 by 3 for resource 1 by 3 for health and 1 by 3 for education and overall it makes a total of 1 okay so from this access to resource access to health and access to education okay the different states they get some value actually okay and uh, after assembling the total value of these three indicators okay we get the composite value okay and we arrange the composite value okay in the descending order that means from the higher to the lower okay so the country which is having a higher uh, composite value actually okay or the state which is having a higher composite value is considered uh, to be higher in level of human development and if the composite value is less then that particular state is considered to be having a lower level of human development okay so according to the 2011 uh, human development report okay according to the 2011 human development report which has been published by the planning commission of india okay these are the rankings of different states of our country like delhi oh uh, sorry like kerala with a composite value of 0.790 okay 0.790 has been uh, placed at the first position okay having the higher level of human development followed by delhi then himachal pradesh goa punjab okay north eastern state excluding assam and all okay and chatisgarh the state okay which has been uh, given the rank of 23 actually okay with a composite value of 0.358 okay so according to the ncert book okay according to the ncert book uh, okay and the data given in this book okay uh, the state which is having the higher level of human development in our country is kerala okay so kerala is the state which is having the high uh, higher level of human development 
okay, which has been placed at the first position in terms of human development index. And Chhattisgarh is the state which is having the lower level of human development. Okay, and it has been placed, okay, at the lowest level. Okay, so you may be getting a question like which state of India, okay, has the highest level of human development. So in that case, the answer will be Kerala. Or which state is having the lower level of human development? In that case, the answer will be Chhattisgarh. Okay, so here you can see that why such variations are there actually. Okay. So Kerala with the composite index value of 0 0.790 is placed at the top rank followed by Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Goa and Punjab. Okay. And as expected, the states like Bihar, Odisha and Chhattisgarh, okay, they are having a very low level of human development. Okay. And they have been placed at the bottom. Okay. They have been placed at the bottom. Okay. So why such variations are there? Okay. Why within our nations only? Some states are having a very high level of development and some states are having a very less level of development. Why? Because, okay, the access to the resources, the access to the health facilities and access to education facilities is not uniform in all the states of our country. In some states, the people, they have better access to health facilities, they have better access to the educational facilities and better access to the resources. So in those states, okay, the people, they enjoy a better living standard, okay, and those states have a higher level of human development, okay, like in case of Kerala, only if you take into consideration, okay, in Kerala, better health facilities are available, education facilities are available, as well as equal access to resources available. So because of which, the literacy rate is very much higher in Kerala, okay, almost all the people, they get access to the better government health facilities, okay. And the people, they enjoy an equal status. Okay, the people, basically the uh, male and the female, they enjoy an equal status in the society. Okay, it is also having the highest sex ratio, as we all know. Okay, so this is the reason that Kerala has a higher level of human development. Okay, and on the other extreme, if you see the case of Bihar, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and all, okay, these are the states with equal access to resources is not there. Okay, the people, they does not have equal access to resources. As a result of this, the level of poverty is also very high, okay, in the states, okay, better health facilities are not available, education facilities are also not available, the literacy rate in Bihar, Urissa, Chhattisgarh is comparatively very less, okay, as compared to Kerala, Himachal Pradesh, Goa, Punjab, and all. okay, and moreover, okay, like, uh, in these states also, okay, like, uh, equal opportunities are not available, okay, to different sections of the society, to the males and the females, and all. okay. So this is the reason that in this state, the people, okay, the living standard of the, the people is not so high, okay, like the living standard of the people of Kerala and Marshall Pradesh, okay. So this is the reason that there is variation in the level of human development within our country, okay. The variation, there is a variation from one state to another. So there are several socio-economic, socio-political, economic, and historical reasons for such a state of affairs, okay. So these variations basically exist, okay, the regional variation is there in the level of human development because of various socio-political issues, because of economic and the historical reasons, okay, which I have already mentioned, okay. So Kerala is able to record the highest level of value in the human development, largely due to the impressive performance in achieving nearly 100% literacy, okay. So Kerala has been able to record the higher level of human development just because, okay, it has achieved a higher level of literacy, almost 100%, okay, both female literacy and the overall literacy. In the different states, okay, it, in a different scenario, the states like Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Assam, and Uttar Pradesh, okay, they have a low literacy, okay. So the states showing higher total literacy rates have less gap between the male and the female literacy rate, okay. So you will notice that the states which are having a higher level of literacy in those states, the gap between the male and the female literacy is very less. But the states where the level of literacy rate is very less, in those states, the gap between the male and the female literacy is much wider. Okay. In case of Bihar only, if you take into consideration, the female literacy rate is very, very less as compared to the uh, male literacy rate. Okay. So apart from the educational attainment, the level of economic development to plays a significant role in the human development index. Okay. 
So as we all know that the economic development is also necessary, okay, to live a better standard of life. So basically, uh, okay, like economic attainment, uh, okay, also plays a very important role in determining the level of human development. So the economically developed states like Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, and Haryana, okay, they have a higher value of human development. Okay, like the state of Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, and Haryana, okay, they are economically much developed as compared to Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, and all. Okay, so as the earning of the government is much higher, the level of economic development is very high in the state. Okay, the government can invest a lot of money. Okay, on the educational sector. Okay, the government has been able to invest a lot of money on the infrastructural development, on the health facilities and all. Okay, so that the people, the poor people and all, okay, they get access to these facilities. But on the other hand, as because the economic development is not so much developed in case of Chhattisgarh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh, okay, the government has, uh, like, uh, the government could not invest a huge in, uh, money, okay, in the educational sector, in the health sectors and all. Okay, so this is the reason that the level of human development also varies, okay, among the de economically developed and the less developed states, okay. So this is the scenario of human development of uh, human development within our country, India, okay. So within our country, India, you will see that there are some particular states or region where the level of human development is far higher, okay, means the people, they live a better standard of life, okay. Whereas there are many states, okay, where the people, they does not have equal access to the basic facility, okay, and they, uh, and they uh, lack in the level of human development, okay. And if you see the region-wise, okay, if you see the region-wise uh, scenario, basically the southern states, okay, basically the southern states, okay, they have a higher level of human development as compared to the northern states, okay, because in the southern states, the rate of literacy is quite higher. Okay. So regional distortions, uh, regional distortions and social disparities which developed during the colonial period, it continued to play an important role in the Indian economy, polity and the society. Okay. So it is not that only after the independence, okay, that uh, the regional disparity has begun in our, uh, within our country. Okay. But the regional distortion okay, and the social disparity, okay, it has its beginning. Uh, from the very uh, colonial period only, okay, from the very beginning of the colonial period. Because from the very beginning of the colonial period, we have noticed that the Britishers, okay, they uh, focused on the developmental activities only in some particular areas, okay, like basically in and around Delhi, okay, along the administrative centers of the colonial period, actually. Okay, so these places are still, okay, uh, enjoying the privilege, actually, okay, they are still, uh, in a better position, okay, as compared to the other places, because, okay, these places gets more concentration, more investment from the part of the government, actually, okay, for the development, okay, but whereas the states which were, uh, or the places which were neglected during the colonial period, okay, they still suffer from such kind of negligence, okay, and uh, like, uh, or we can say that on the part of the government, okay, like there is no such initiative taken, okay, to develop these places, okay. So the regional distortion and the social disparities which developed during the colonial period, it is still continuing, okay, and it is playing a major role, okay, important role, okay, in the Indian economy, polity, and the society, and which in turn, okay, uh, influence the level of human development. But in the recent years, the government of India has made concerted efforts to institutionalize the balanced development with the main focus on social distributive justice to plan development. Okay, so the government of India has made concerted efforts, okay, in the present uh, uh, day actually, okay, to bring a balance, okay, to bring a balance in the developmental activities between the highly developed and the less developed places. Okay, so now you can see that even in the underdeveloped regions, okay, even in the underdeveloped states, okay, the government is now focusing more on infrastructural development and all. So this is why you will notice that the northern states has developed uh, uh, like oh, in a very fast rate, actually, okay, okay in the last uh, two, one decade, actually. Okay, even in the state like Chhattisgarh, Bihar and all, okay, they have uh, seen a rapid development, okay, in terms of infrastructural development and all. Okay, because the government is now focusing, okay, to 
uh, bring a balance okay to bring a balance between the developed and the underdeveloped nations okay to reduce the gap between uh, the uh, developed and the underdeveloped states actually okay so it has been uh, it has made significant achievement in most of the field but these are still below the desired level okay so the government has uh, like achieved a significant achievement in different fields like in the field of education health and all okay but still okay uh, the government needs to work more hard okay to achieve the desired level okay so here we come to know that about the scenario of human development within our country okay within our country that why the variation is there okay why the variation is there in the level of human development from one state to another or from one region to another okay and how this variations can be sorted out so i think you have understood about the human development in india so the state having the highest level of human development okay is kerala and the state having the lowest level of human development is chhattisgarh according to 2011 human development report published by the planning commission of india 